Hey, what's going on guys? Eric, the SEO guy here. And today we are talking about voice search optimization in 2018 and 2019. Now, Brian Dean, a well-respected name in the SEO industry, recently released a guide be called Voice Search, The Definitive Guide. This guide lists out everything you need to know about voice search and how to optimize your website for voice search. Now, the guide is really long. It has a lot of really great points in there, so we wanted to make a video that contained only the most important tips so you can know how to optimize your website and be able to start getting some voice search rankings and feature snippets. Now, we're sure you're wondering, why voice search? Well, you should know that 41% of adults and 55% of teens are currently using voice to search for products, services, information online. And that number by 2020 is estimated to be around 50%. Due to this rise in popularity, it's more important than ever that you optimize your website for voice search. Now I'm sure you're wondering, Eric, how do I optimize my website for voice search? Well, that's the whole point of this video and we're gonna show you the steps right now. First, use natural language in your content. Google's not looking for the same old solar panels cost Phoenix. Google wants you to actually list out a legit question. How much do solar panels cost in Phoenix? They are looking for these long tail phrases to be able to answer users' questions as quickly as possible. The more you're able to nail down exactly what that user's intent was, the better answer you'll have and the more Google will want to actually show your site in a featured snippet or as a voice search result. Make sure and use these keywords in your title, content, keyword tags, everywhere you can use them that you would normally use for search engine optimization strategies. Number two, make your FAQ pages longer. According to Brian, Google loves question and answer content to answer user queries. According to Brian, you should keep your answers as short and sweet as possible as most featured snippets are around 29 words long. One tip that he didn't mention was actually answering questions on your product and service pages. What better page to come up as a featured result than the actual page your product or service is being listed on. Number three, use questions in your content. Who, what, when, why, where are the most popular searches any user performs. They wanna know how the product's made, where you can receive it, more information about it. The more you actually answer these questions inside your content, the better chance you have of grabbing these featured snippets or instant answers. Four. Use resources to find questions. On answerthepublic.com, you can actually enter a keyword like roof repair, and it'll actually bring up the most common questions about that topic. How long does it take for roof repair? Does insurance cover my roof replacement? All of these questions are listed for you to go in, check out, and do further research about these. Find out the search volume for each one of these keywords. Don't spend a bunch of time on a keyword that might not have an actual search volume. Five. Keep your answers to 29 words or less. As we mentioned before, Google's featured snippets are 29 words or less on average. Meeting that target goal puts you a way more likely chance of getting your answer as the featured snippet. One extra tip on that is you don't technically need to list every question in one single post. We've actually taken many featured snippets, sometimes multiple times in a day, by answering questions on individual blog posts. Six. Include filler keywords in your content. Words like for, on, the, and are natural language keywords that Google wants to see in your titles and your actual content. For example, we could have titled this video Voice Search Website Optimization. But instead, we chose to go with how to optimize your website for voice search because that's more of a natural language title. Seven. Write for a 7th to ninth grade reading level. I know that's hard to believe and you think you should be doing all this collegiate writing and technical writing and that you're going to rank the best, but that's actually not true. Most people just are not educated that far. So writing to a 7th to ninth grade le reading level is actually the best way to get your content shown to a majority of people. If you're having a problem with writing at that level or not sure what grade you're actually writing at, there's a great site called Readability Formulas that will actually let you copy and paste your content in and it'll actually tell you what grade you're writing at. Eight, increase your domain authority. 
Now having a website with a lot of backlinks and a trusted website is one way for Google to just shoot you right up to the top. But what if you're starting off from the bottom, you don't have domain authority yet? Well, the better your answer is, the better chance you have at getting that featured snippet. Yesterday alone, we were able to get three featured snippets from websites around the 21 or 22 domain rating. It does not matter what your domain rating is, as long as you put out the best answer, go longer, more links, more proof that your is the best and Google is going to show you over your competitors every single time. We beat some of the biggest people in the industry with just longer content, better answers, and better keywords. Now that brings me to my next point, which is number nine, write long form content. I promise you guys, if you write longer form content than your competition, you will dominate. Now, how much more do I need to add? Well, get an example from your competitor. Go type in the keyword you want to rank for, bring your competitor up, how long is their content? Actually strip that content out of there, copy and paste that into a Word doc. How long is it? Is it that 100, uh, 350 words, 500 words, 700 words, 1,000 words? If it is, make it longer. Use better headings, create a better user experience. Create page jumps to each section in that content for a great user experience. Google will reward you. They'll actually put your page jumps in your meta description when Google are, or when people are searching those specific keywords. But I can't present it to you more that long form content is the way to gain an advantage over your competition every single time. If you can't figure out what content to add, go to answerthepublic.com. Go find questions users are typing in. Ask, answer a bunch of questions in your content. It's a great chance you can gain a featured snippet or a voice search result just from adding those questions inside that content. Number 10, optimize for near me searches. This is huge right now. Simply adding the word near me into your content can make your pages fly off the handle, especially if you're a local business. We've actually experienced with this, adding keywords like near me to our clients listing increase some of their traffic by double for those very specific keywords. And usually when someone's typing in near me, there's a very likely chance that they're going to actually buy that product or service from that local business. So optimizing for even saying the word near me or near your most popular landmarks, your most popular attractions. Are you near other major businesses that are widely known? Are you have close cross streets that are widely known? Using these words in your actual content will help you come up for these searches and have Google find you when people are looking for near me on voice search. And last but not least, format your pages properly. Now we can't tell you how big this actually is. Some SEOers actually believe that formatting and language, even Brian believes this, is actually more important than backlinks. And I could not agree with that more. Sometimes we gain featured snippets simply from the content alone with zero backlinks coming to that specific post or page. It is possible formatting, user experience, using natural language can actually get you higher rankings than just building backlinks to your site. Thank you guys so much for staying and watching this video. We welcome you to leave your thoughts and voice search tips in the comments below. Please also subscribe, like, and share this video so others can begin to learn about voice search and we can all optimize and grow together. Thank you guys. If you would like to learn more about voice search optimization in 2018, 2019, visit the link in the description below. It is a link to our blog post with all of the content we just talked about and more. And you can also find a link to Branding's original post to voice search the definitive guide. Thank you guys so much for stopping through. Brian, you are awesome. You guys have a great day.